channel and thank you for joining me again. I hope you all had a great week. So since I shared my whole handbag collection last week, I thought it only made sense to go ahead and share my whole SLG collection this week. Like my handbag collection, I do not have a whole lot of SLG pieces and my collection is made up of items from both luxury brands and contemporary brands. Um, so let's get started. So my first SLG was the Chanel Boy Wallet on Chain in Lambskin that we purchased in 2015 as a Mother's Day birthday combo gift. Um, the Chanel website la lists their wallet on chains as SLGs. I guess because it has a compartment in the front where I guess you can put the change and then it also has card slots in the back. But that is the only similarity I see this having with a wallet. I use it as a small clutch, a small shoulder bag, or a small crossbody when I go out with my girlfriends for girls night or I go out on date nights with my husband. Um, I had originally been looking for the wallet on chain in the classic quilted in caviar and I went to the boutique here in town to see if I could find one, not knowing how difficult it was to get my hands on one and was told the wait list was a year and a half long. So I went ahead and put myself on the list and then I immediately went home and started calling all the boutiques around the country to see if by chance anybody had one. I was told the same thing by all the other boutiques and then it wasn't until probably boutique number six that she finally said, hey, we don't have that wallet on chain but I do have this Chevron version. Would you be interested? So I asked her to go ahead and send me some uh, pictures over text message and I absolutely fell in love with it and within 30 minutes I had paid for it and she was uh, sending it my way and a couple days later I had it in my happy little fingers. So my second SLG was something I picked up off of Amazon in 2017 and it was this little RFID blocking wallet. Um, at the time I was working downtown and within a two week period I had received three fraud alerts on my debit card and each time the bank had to go ahead and deactivate that debit card, go ahead and send me a new debit card and I would go ahead and reactivate it just for them to turn around and tell me that the new card had been compromised and have to start the whole process all over again. Um, my husband and I had done some research and um, I guess came to the conclusion that s somewhere out there must have been a skimmer downtown so we went ahead and looked into these little RFID wallets I think it was less than 20 bucks um, there are much fancier ones for much higher price but um, I was a little skeptical about whether or not this would work and preventing my card number from being stolen again um, but I will say that um, after I received this the text messages notify me um, of fraud fraudulent activity came to a complete stop. I never received another one ever again. Um, so I highly recommend this little wallet. Hey everybody, as y'all may notice, I am in a different outfit than I was in the earlier part of this video. I try and film my videos after my son has finished his online schooling. Um, I lost track of time yesterday and before I knew it, it was time to go ahead and start dinner and get him ready to go hang out at the grandparents' house for the night. Um, so I'm hoping to finish this video today so I can avoid a third wardrobe change in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So my third SLG was this Coach Wizard of Oz glitter slim ID case. At the time I purchased this, I had been watching a lot of YouTube videos talking about how convenient it was to have um, card holders in the collection. Um, the idea of a streamlined bag appealed to me so I went ahead and purchased this on sale through Lord & Taylor. I do say that I do like it because it is convenient with the front ID slot and then there is another card slot that I used to carry around my debit card in. Um, there is a back pocket that I would carry around my Costco and Sam's card in and since I am not a regular cash carrier or coin carrier, I went ahead and used the coin compartment 
to hold um, a few other cards like my health insurance card. You never know when you will need that as a parent. <laughs> so I just found it kind of handy. I, I will say that I do not pack it too heavy because due to the gusseting on one side of the card case, it does make it feel a little lopsided and takes away from the whole streamline aesthetic of it. So that would be my only complaint with this item. Otherwise, it is very convenient and handy as a small leather good. My fourth SLG is this cute little Coach Glitter Heart coin purse. I loved the glitter of my Wizard of Oz Slim IDK so much that I went ahead and got another glitter piece to add to my collection. Um, I mainly use this as a catch-all for my medication and my son's medication. We both get frequent headaches and then mine usually escalate to migraines. So um, having medication on hand um, usually gives us enough time if we're out and about to get me home so I can go ahead and put myself back to bed. <laughs> um, the inside is very simple. It's just one big old compartment. There are no card slots or anything. Um, it does have a strap, a chain strap that I think would be cute at doubled over and used as a wristlet or um, you can clip onto your bag, but I prefer to just throw it into my bigger bag and just go. So my fifth SLG is this Coach Wild Heart Corner Zip Wristlet. At the time I purchased this, I had been wanting a LV mini pochette, but I knew it was impossible to get a hold of and they were sold out all the time. I had heard some people had luck stalking the website, but I was also going to school and I decided sleep was more important. So I ended up ordering this off eBay to see if it would work as a catch-all for some of my items inside my big, bigger purses. Um, the funny thing and reason why I decided I needed a mini bracelet in my collection is because a week into owning my Chanel wallet on chain, I went to lunch and realized the lid of a lip crayon had come off the rest of the lip crayon and all the lip crayon was inside my wallet on chain. I was absolutely mortified and devastated and I had to go back to work and just could not even concentrate. As soon as I got home, I used some Dawn with some Arm & Hammer baking soda and a toothbrush and thankfully was able to remove most of the lip crayon from my wallet on chain. So ever since that incident, I make sure that all my hand sanitizers and my lipsticks are inside a wristlet like this in my bigger bags. Um, this does come in handy when I go out and about. It has two card slots on the inside and then one big old compartment where I put my lipstick, lip glosses, and hand sanitizer. It's great for just grabbing and going. So my sixth SLG in my collection is the Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire in the monogram canvas. Um, I loved carrying around my fake <laughs> multicolor pochette accessoire back in my 20s that I knew that someday I would want to add an authentic one to my collection and I ended up adding this one to my collection last year after Louis Vuitton had one of their regularly scheduled price increases and it was hard to get a hold of them new on their website, just like the mini pochette. So I went ahead and ordered this on the pre-love market from a consignment store here in Texas. They used to have a location here in Austin, but have since closed it due to COVID. Um, and I just thought this was a great piece from the 1990s in great shape. And I'm so glad to have been able to add an authentic one back to my collection. My seventh SLG is the Louis Vuitton clay in the Damier Aben canvas. Um, I bought this off their website last spring um, as a way to further streamline the interior of my bags. I also bought it as a way to protect my Chanel wallet on chain after the lip crayon incident after receiving it. Um, I was always nervous about keys scratching the leather interior of that bag. So I like being able to just throw my key fob in here and then just throwing this into my wallet on chain and going. It gives me a little more peace of mind that I will not further destroy the interior of that bag. 
So my eighth SLG is the Louis Vuitton mini pochette in the monogram canvas that I added to my collection this past summer after Louis Vuitton had multiple price increases within a few month time span. Um, like I mentioned when I talked about my coach um, corner zip wristlet, I had never found it new online, so I went the pre-loved route like my pochette accessoire. I ended up ordering it from the same consignment shop that I ordered the pochette accessoire. Um, I had noticed that even on the pre-loved market that this item was starting to increase in price due to scarcity and demand. So before the price continued to increase, I decided to go ahead and add this to my collection. The ninth SLG in my collection is the Coach Hologram Nolita 15. I liked my mini pochette so much that I went ahead and ordered this after watching several YouTube videos saying that it was a great alternative to the mini pochette for those who could not find the mini pochette. I ended up ordering this off of eBay again. Um, and you guys know how much I like finding alternatives for pricier luxury items. Um, I will go ahead and do a comparison between the two in a later video, but that is my Nolia 15. So the 10th and final SLG in my collection is this cute little Epi card holder I picked up from an Etsy shop called the Valerie Constance. Um, it reminded me a lot of the Louis Vuitton Epi card holder. Louis Vuitton currently only carries it in their noir color and I fell in love with this pale pink color from the Valerie Constance. Um, it is structured like the Louis Vuitton version with a card slot on the front where I carry my driver's license and debit card. Then there's a slot on the back where I carry my Costco and Sam's card. And then there is a middle compartment where I have some cash and another card. Um, for the price of this one, I felt like I got a luxury item without the luxury item price tag. Um, and I definitely plan on adding a few more items in this pale pink to my collection here in the near future. So there you have it y'all, that is my whole SLG collection. If you are considering adding one of the pieces I talked about in this video to your collection, I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, I would love it if you would go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons below. That way you can get notifications when I upload new videos. Again, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I always enjoy our time together and I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Until then, bye!